Is Asperger's syndrome hereditary or genetic? Hi, my name is Gaëtan Klein. I'm a therapist based in France and specialized in helping kids and adults with Asperger's syndrome. And many people have asked me this question, where does it come from? Is it something that is transmitted genetically from the parents? Is it in the family lines? So let me answer this question. The answer is yes and no, depending on how you view Asperger's syndrome and what it is exactly. Uh, in the medical literature, the origin of Asperger's syndrome is not actually well known. It's not very defined. So people don't really know where it's coming from. Now, in my approach, my theory is a little bit different from the classic psychiatric or the DSM-4 or DSM-5 definitions. The way that I work with people with Asperger's syndrome is only based on the sensation of having a wall of glass, like an invisible barrier, that prevents you from connecting with other people and that makes you get the impression that you live in a bubble and that it's hard to connect and to understand or feel understood by other people. Now, this wall of glass sensation in itself is something that is transmitted from parents to their children. Now, there is a caveat to that and a nuance because this is something that is transmitted both by the father's line and the maternal line, the paternal line and the maternal line. So in order to have the full wall of glass experience and the symptoms that comes from it, you have to have it on both sides. And if, if it is present in your paternal line and your maternal line, then yes, you have the full experience and you have the consequences of that. But your parents might not have the same effects and the same symptoms that are typical of Asperger's. So Sometimes the parents will have subclinical symptoms, which means they have the characteristics, they have the traits, but they're not really strong and they're not really um, as obvious as to become diagnosed. Therefore, I have a lot of people who say, I have it, my brothers have it, my sisters have it, but my parents they don't, so we don't understand where it's coming from. Well, it's still coming from the genetics, but if you only have this wall of glass experience on one side of your body, you might not experience the difficulty in social interaction and boredom intolerance and all the other um, characteristics. You might just experience some of the clumsiness or the restriction in the feeling of space on that side of the body. But since the other side is open, you don't feel that it's preventing you from connecting with other people. Therefore, you don't experience Asperger's syndrome and you are never diagnosed with it. So if it's subclinical or if it's only on one side of the body, you don't notice it, it's not a problem for you, but it might be a problem for your children. So it's not uncommon that people notice when they understand that they have this, this Asperger's syndrome, they notice it's present in some other people in the family. Sometimes you can see, oh yeah, my grandfather, or oh, my uncles or my aunties, or I have some cousins who have the same kind of traits. And that's because it's present in the family line, but it's not always expressed in the same way in different people. Now, there is a diagram that I created to explain it, how it works, but if you have those traits and if you understand that there is this wall of glass experience, this feeling of having something that prevents you from reaching out and connecting emotionally with people and from people connecting to you, then this wall of glass experience is something that is transmitted from parent to children. Now, what do we do about it? Well, there's a way, there's a way to get rid of it, and this is by doing this wall of glass process from peak set therapy that I do with my clients to help them improve their social life, make socializing easier, feel at ease in the world, feel that you belong, and it also reduces anxiety and has a lot of positive effect the main one being that you now feel you're part of the world and you're connected with other people in a way that you never felt before, but you've always been craving. That's my experience. When I was a young kid, I was craving this connection. I didn't understand why I didn't have it, why I was so different, so separated, isolated. I couldn't explain it until something pointed out to me. Do you feel that there's a wall of glass in front of you and you cannot touch it, but you know it's there? And I was like, yes, of course, that's what I've been trying to express. So if you relate with that, if you resonate with that, then you can watch my other videos on my YouTube channel where I explain what is this wall of glass, why it's there, how can you sense if you have it or not, 
and why it explains most of the traits of Asperger's syndrome and what, what does it change when we eliminate it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned on my channel for other videos on Asperger's syndrome, socializing, and I'll see you soon. If you like this video, click on the button below to like it or post a comment. I'm always happy to hear what these videos triggers in terms of thinking, insights, and realization or questions. Have a good day. Talk to you soon.